Bang, bang, bang. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. My name is Shamari Clark. Now, now, now. Look, look, look. Warning, warning, warning. You're going to receive, you're going to see excessive tobacco use, excessive alcohol consumption. Probably going to hear a couple cuss words. Fuck shit, damn. So look, look, if you can't handle that, bounce now. Because here I come. Three, two, one. Bang. Welcome. Welcome, brothers. <laughs> Bang. All right. So we have a good show today. Now, a lot of you guys have brought up this article to me, and I see where you're going with it, but I am going to have to, I'm going to read it, but I'm going to have to break some hearts. <laughs> so Ripple Nordia partnership, bang, 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 possible. Uh, and then we're going to talk about a company that actually has amazing partnerships, VeChain. And then bang, bang, Coinbase. Oh, you fuck sticks don't even understand. I knew this was going to happen. I'm not going to lie. I thought this was going to happen next year. But there's something Coinbase is doing this year. I thought this was going to happen next year. I knew it was going to happen next year. But bang. And that's what I mean. Coinbase, they're doing things so fast, right? It's not the normal time frame of things. Like, you guys know me. I'm a market guy. I've been in the markets for 18 years. So I know sort of the pace of, you know, rollouts of things and things like that. <laughs> Coinbase they defy that stuff. Oh, yeah, we're applying for custodianship, and then the next day, oh, we have it. You know, like, they're sneaky, which is good. Good sneaky. It's good sneaky. But it's bad a little sneaky because we have the time, you know, how much time do we have to build our cryptocurrency warehouses, man? Damn. Coinbase, you're coming fast and hard, and this is a huge, huge announcement from Coinbase. And then backed, oh... Yes, brother, you know, Edwin gave us the backed, and that shit ain't no joke. Backed ain't no joke, and we're going to talk about the big money and a big announcement that could be possible next week. You heard it, big announcement. So it's a rumor. Okay, so I, I should say it like that. It, we're, we're, so we're going to have a little backed rumor. But, you know, it's something to look forward to. <laughs> so let's do how we do, boys. Bang! You know how we get down around these parts. Let's do a little refresh. Bang. Bang. There we go. Okay. Now what do we got here? Top 10 of the day. We got the usual suspects. <laughs> Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Yield, Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, Tether, and Monero still holding strong. <laughs> Monero, yes. Those boys are battling over there for the 10th spot. But Monero's holding it strong. Strong. Remember, remember Tron and Iota, they had it for a little bit. What, Iota even went to number nine for a second there. All right, all right, brothers, all right. Oh, so let's look at our market moves. Oh, oh, shit ain't even done fuck all. <laughs> Those aren't even 1%. Those are all 0, 0.00 something. So look, look, I don't even know how to say this, but I'll just call this uh, single digits up to single digits down. <laughs> They're not even digits, though. Single fractions up to single fractions down. <laughs> no, kidding. Single digits up, single digits down, brothers. Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. All right, let's look at our top 10 losers of the day. Hey, if you see anything you like on here, that means it's on sale. Let's look at the sale board for the day. <laughs> Re uh, top 10 on sale. Losers. Revein, Kyber Network, Eternal Token, Veritasium, Metaverse, ETP, Basic Attention, Wan Chain, Ox, Maker, and Redcoin. Now let's look for our top 10 earners of the day. Bang. Oh, 27.05. Oh, if you're in e Electronium. I like that Electronium thing, man. The whole mining thing of it is kind of interesting. Anyways, whatever. Top 10 earners of the day, Electronium, Dogecoin, Dropil, MadeSafeCoin, Polymath, NanoWax, DentaCoin, Golem, and Aeon. Bang. Now let's look at our overall market cap of the day. It's fuck all. $209 billion, Same as... Yeah, that's bullshit. Still going down, though. On The, the overall volume thing is going down. Um, a lot of people are talking about that. Is Bitcoin going down because of volume? But remember this. Remember, this is exchange volume remember what i read to you the other day remember what i taught you otc over the counter buys that are happening yeah 
a lot of these hedge fund guys, they're buying it over the counter right now. You know, because, you know, Gemini and backed and, and yeah, Gemini and backed aren't up yet for them to have the proper custodian stuff and uh, the in institutional investor stuff. So they're like, well, fuck it. They're just using Coinbase for custody probably. I'm just guessing. I'm not telling you this is a fact, but I'm assuming the guys who want in fast because they know the money that's coming. They know, they, I mean, they're not stupid. They know there's a tsunami coming too. So they're getting in quick and just buying over the counter, probably storing it in Coinbase. And they're going to hold until their compatriots get here and make money. All right, let's look at Repo. So yesterday, a lot of you guys gave me this story. Uh, it was this. And it was in another language. Where was that? Was that you? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was in another language. Actually, let me open it and just show you guys. But I have the English version of it today. <laughs> and I've been getting, people have been giving me this for like two days. <laughs> you guys really care that I sold those repos, huh? But it's in another language. I did the translate thing. And it always turned I'd go halfway down the page. Hold on, I'll even show you right now. I go halfway down the page, and it turns back into Norwegian or whatever it is. Oh, it's working now. Oh, oh, of course it works as soon as I fucking <laughs> try to show you guys how it didn't work. Anyways, I have the English version of it, so we're gonna we're gonna get the English condensed version. So. Ripple technology is of importance to us, states R3 member Nordia Bank CEO. Now, I want you to understand, Nordia is part of R3, not Ripple. So settle down, boys. Settle down. But, and you have to, all right, all right, let's get real. The C, I'm just going to read this and then I'll explain everything. The CEO of Nordia Bank, Casper von Kuskel, uh, recently appeared on an interview to speak about the implementation of blockchain technology and payments. Most notably, he spoke about Ripple XRP and the R3 Consortium. He began by talking about the reason the bank focused on payments, uh, a part of the large financial services network in the Nordic region of Europe. This has led to the implementation of solutions by, oh, you guys kept talking to me about this Temenos thing. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to show you why you get a okay for that part. Quoting reasons of their compatibility with faster and cheaper payments based on blockchain technology. Yeah, it is. Von Koskel said in a statement to Koppelheide, a Finnish newspaper, Ripple has already launched its own technology, which is being introduced in Japan. Everything is done in cooperation with banks, such as the R3 Consortium. <laughs> it is of enormous importance to us. Notably, Nordia is part of the network run by R3. Yeah, they are. A DLT firm which is named such as, and this is why I bought Ripple in the first place, Citibank, Deutsche Bank, HSBC and Goldman Sachs as part of its network. So they have run into legal problems with Ripple in the past, which led to a settlement in September 2018. Bang. Ripple and remember, I read that to you. Ripple and R3 took them took each other to court. In a statement to Coindesk, a representative from R3 stated, R3 Hold Co. LLC, one company, R3 LLC, another company. Ripple Labs, which is different than XRP Geniuses, Inc., and XRP2, which is a separate company, announced that they have reached a settlement of all outstanding litigation between the parties. <laughs> the terms of the agreement will remain confidential. The terms of the agreement will remain confidential. They're not going to tell us what they agreed to. And both sides look forward to putting their disputes behind them. This article mentions that R3 cooperates with Ripple, and have billions of units of XRP, the cryptocurrency utilized by Ripple, leading many to believe that they have come to an amicable conclusion. Now, yeah, leading many to believe, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear R3 say, hey, we're glad to welcome member R3 member Ripple back. If that was the case, that's what we would hear. R3 back with Ripple, blah, 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 blah. So they've reached, what is it? They have... What, what did the, the R3 guys say? He, they put their disputes behind them. In other words, all right, we're not taking each other to court. <laughs> but are we working together? Not necessarily. 
So, and another thing is that what I want you guys to remember, because some guy told me off last night. This guy was a fucking, look, I love all you guys. I know you guys don't know much. You're a bunch of, look, look, I know you. Got, a lot of you guys are nine to five beat worker bees. And so you don't really know how much. Anyway, so this fucking guy here, easy care landscaper. He said he's part of the 1%. And oh, oh I, I'm stupid for selling my Ripple. Really, I'm stupid. He said Ripple was on the NASDAQ. So obviously, I had to laugh that off. Ripple on the NASDAQ? XRP on NASDAQ? That's funny because it's a token, you moron. It's not a company. Uh, not a moron. My bad, my bad. Hold on. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've been drinking. It's Friday already. Uh, not a moron, but just my friend, my brother. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to say that to you. But it's not on... <laughs> the Nasdaq, okay, <laughs> and then he said, "Oh, rebels with all these companies." What do he say? Banks in forty countries and six continents. Yeah, 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 they are. Oh, you're right. Ripple Labs. There's a company called Ripple Labs, which is huge. They're with Santander, Bank of America, American Express. For fuck's sakes, yeah, Ripple Labs. Ripple Labs has nothing to do with XRP. My genius landscaping friend, if you own XRPs, the only thing that matters is that Ripple makes partnerships and that they use one product they have. It's called X Rapid. There are only three little shitty little banks using X Rapid. All this shit you hear about, oh, Ripple with this, Ripple with that. Yeah, yeah, that's X Current, fucker. Unless you hear the words X Rapid. <laughs> okay, Ripple has three products X Current. X via X Rapid. X Current and X Via. That's Ripple Labs. Ripple Labs. Yeah, motherfucker. F there's like, I think, 400 banks in the world using X Current and X Via between the two. Yeah, yeah. Three banks use X Rapid, buddy. Three. And they're shitty little ones. So all I can say to you is this if I hear uh, uh, Santander uses X Current, Bank of America uses X Current. Fucking American Express uses X Current. If I hear any of those three tell me now we're going to use X Rapid, oh, wow. Well, then I'll put my Ripple shelf back up into my warehouse. Oh, oh, I will put it up. But unless it's that, buddy, they're all using X Current. Come on, man. Know about what you're investing in, first of all, before you come talk shit to me. But if you want to know about a real investment, bang, V Chain signs an, MA, an MOU for blockchain development with what? Not a company. What a country. Cyprus. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you, Justin. Or not Justin. Well, not Justin Sun, but Justin Williams and Edwin. Man, for putting me onto this V-Chain, that's going to make me millions. V-Chain is going to make you millions. Millions. See, if you have to scrape together reasons why you're into something, don't be in it. See, when I Google V-Chain, just Google the words V... Uh, let's do a little... Let's, uh, Here's a little a little homework assignment for you guys for your Friday, your weekend homework assignment. Google your coin, whatever it is you love, Cardano, Monero, whatever, and see what comes up, okay? And then Google VeChain, Google IOTA, and Google Tron. And Stellar. Fuck that. Let's go with Stellar too, okay? Yeah. When you Google, when you Google Ripple, what does it say? Ah, <laughs> uh, Ripple. R3 consortium, liability thing, blah, 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 all the court case crap. Not much. When you Google VeChain, what do you get? Partnership, 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 partnership. When you Google IOTA, what do you get? Partnership, 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 partnership. Oh, fucking, don't let me even tell you what happens when you Google Tron. You Google Tron, Justin Sun's dick is literally going to come out of your screen and slap you in the face. <laughs> I've got, he's evil. He's like, look, 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 I've got BitTorrent. I've got a debit card. I've got fucking this shit where you can just tip people. Yeah, the fucking blockchain, the mainnet's only been up four months. And look at him. Just running around here swinging his dick. <laughs> That's the level of shit you got to be investing in. When you get slapped by the CEO's dick, bang, buy that. If you have to scrounge and scrimp and look deeply into why you should be owning something, don't own that. If you don't have... I've told you, man, I say it so many times. It's, and I know you guys are all sick of it. If there are not major partnerships, corporate partnerships, I mean major, 
Okay, brand names. Remember I told you the story yesterday about that old lady, my neighbor? Yeah. If you can name a company, look, look, V-Chain. <laughs> I can go to the old lady beside me and I say, hey, do you know the country of Cyprus? Of course I do. Bang, bang, good investment. If an old lady can understand, can name the partners that your, 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 whatever crypto you love is, buy that, keep that stack in the warehouse. If not, come on, come on, brothers. You don't have to go bottom feeding. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't, uh, someone told me when I was a kid, don't major in minor things, okay? All right, now let's look at what real partnership looks like. Singapore-backed blockchain platform, VeChain Foundation, U.S. blockchain startup Cream, and the national investment partner of what? Of what? The Republic of Cyprus, the country. Oh, guys, you guys don't even get it. Just, just stop, stop punching yourselves in the balls. Just get the good shit, all right, guys? Get the good shit. Bang, and wait for this tsunami and get rich, okay? It's not rocket science. Invest Cyprus have signed a memorandum of understanding per a press release published October 26. The MOU is focused on establishing a framework in the field of blockchain technologies and related use cases. Per the MOU, the parties will work on a number of national, national, for a whole country, level investment strategies, which involve blockchain-powered economies, are any of you, any of you Monero lovers, you Cardano lovers, you Ripple lovers? Do you guys are you guys? Uh, do you have any partnerships with countries, whole countries? Just asking. Uh, the agreements also aim to inform government policy making in the blockchain industry, in addition to facilitating economic developments in Cyprus, in the whole country, <laughs> Cyprus. The suggested reforms will purportedly comply with regulatory procedures. Oh, and one of you guys showed me this. One of my European brothers, oh, yes, you did show me this. Bang. Europe just came out with this new uh, law thing. Shit, I didn't report on it, but now their exchanges, kind of like here, how our exchanges are bending over backwards, uh, backed Gemini and uh, Coinbase are bending over backwards to uh, become regulatory compliant. Bang, there's, a, there's one over there in Europe too. I didn't report on it, but that's what's going down. So the suggested reforms will purportedly comply with regulatory procedures such as the AML, anti-money laundering thing, well, all the politicians are complaining about, and the know your client thing, okay, you can't have money laundering, so we gotta know your client, and the EU law, that's the, and the regular, and other regulations. I wish I had the name of that law, man. Fuck, is it in this article? Because the guy told me the name of it, and so for you Europeans, this is what you should look at. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, man. I don't have the name. But anyway, okay, so let's just go on. But I'm going to get it for you guys for in Europe. You guys have your own regulatory thing too. And you have an exchange that's bending over backwards to become compliant. And obviously VeChain, well, looks like they're about to be compliant. So this summer VeChain added all. Exactly. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is the quality of investments I'm talking about. VeChain added Global logistics provider, DB Schenker, or, or sorry, this summer, VeChain and global logistics provider, DB Schenker, jointly developed a blockchain-based supplier evaluation system to score DB Schenker's third-party logistics partners in China. The system will rate partners based on collected data for services such as packaging, transportation, and the quality of the goods. Yeah, that's the second largest in the world. The world. Guys, you don't have to bottom feed. If your coin, if your blockchain services company isn't servicing major corporations, fuck it. Whatever, man. I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm going to get out of here. All right. Bang. Break. Oh, so this was the thing. Bang, bang, bang. Read that, you sons of bitches. Bang. Man, Coinbase. Coinbase, I'm not even into this whole, these exchanges thing. Edwin got me into this shit with the back thing, but now I realize how super important it is for America. Uh, yeah, man, in, in terms of this crypto stuff, I'm a Forex trader. I've been trading through exchanges for 18 fucking years of my life. I'm 44 years old. My money makes me money. I've been trading for 18 years. I don't have a nine to five job. My money makes me money. If you go to forexfactory.com, type in my name, S-H-O-M-A-R-I. That's my name, Shamari. 
you'll see some of my older trades and stuff. And you can read, you know, all, that, all the, whatever you want in their profile. Go down to the bottom. Bang, bang. You see me with Hugh Hefner and a couple of his hoes. His girls, whatever. But um, uh, what was the point of that? Uh, so I, I've been trading with exchanges pretty much since I was in my 20s. Well, late 20s. And, you know, and so I don't give a fuck about exchanges. Bang, bang, bang. Edwin showed me the light. Edwin showed me the light because our exchanges in the Forex world, I mean, they have to be regulated and have custodianship and stuff, but they don't offer, it, it's only for us, retail investors. They don't offer institutional investment. Well, not the ones I'm on. I mean, of course they do. I mean, what the fuck? How do you think these guys get their shit? But not the ones I'm on. Backed. Gemini. Coinbase. Institutional, brothers. Institutional. Thank you, Edwin, my brother, for Kind of just opening my eyes to that whole, because this is going to be important for us. These are not, it's not like the Forks world. In the Forks world, those guys just give you the platform. They give you the fucking currency pairs or CFDs, whatever you're trading, and say, go at it. Um, these guys are different. They're offering their own custody, <laughs> their own trading, their own stuff, right? Back Coinbase and, and uh, hey, what's that other one? Back Coinbase and, uh, I just said it, Gemini. They're offering like a full service package, man. I know maybe you guys don't understand how important that is. It's huge, huge to bring these billions of dollars that we need here, man. All right, all right. I'm going to stop talking. Guys, marinate on that fucking title right there while I have a quick commercial break. Fucking you better marinate on that hard, hard, son. Man, that's some good shit. Good shit. Look, look, look. I was talking to Bob today. You know what Bob is. He's got his crypto. You know, but then he's got his bricks of gold hidden away in an undisclosed location. You know how he goes. Brothers, especially the brothers, you guys know how Bob is. <laughs> you know how he is. You know what I mean? He's probably got a chest of gold belt buried in the the Swiss Alps somewhere. <laughs> you know, he's got it. He's got the fucking. He's probably got the what do you what do you call that shit again? The GPS location for it, so he can go back and find it. Don't worry, Bob's good. But anyway, the, the, okay, enough about making fun of Bob. But he will drone strike you. He will drone strike you and hunt you down. All right, enough about him though. Uh, we'll talk about him later. He's the minister of airdrops. But look, 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 seriously. I mean, that is kind of half serious. <laughs> That's funny. I'm like, look, be serious. And then in my brain, I'm like, that was kind of serious. <laughs> you don't know about this guy, Bob Brothers. Lock, lock, you knew people. You'll meet him. You'll see. But anyway, okay. Man, it's Friday night and I've been drinking already. All right, brothers. Oh, okay, so... What the fuck was the Bob thing about? I don't know how we got from Justin to Bob or uh, Edwin to Bob. But anyway, Edwin showed the thing and let's go. Bang, 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 fuck sticks. Coinbase going IPO. Initial public offering. Now, I'm not sure how unknowledgeable you are. So let me explain what an IPO is. An IPO is usually a bunch of insiders... And that's the same thing going on with Coinbase, so I'm not going to bullshit. A bunch of insiders invest in a company. When the company starts working real good, they bring it out to what's called an IPO, Initial Public Offering. So the shit you guys know about with this crypto crap is ICO. They call it an Initial Coin Offering. Really, that's a, a, a sort of twisted IPO is what they're doing. And that's what that is, right? But... In the real world, when company, because in the real world, companies build first, then they go IPO. So, bang, 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 uh, Coinbase, and I believe they're going to be the first backed, and believe me, backed in Gemini are going to be right behind them. All right, let's, let's let me just read it for you. I'm going to open, oh, the reason, oh, that's why I brought up Bob. Yeah, right, right, that's why I brought up Bob, because I was telling Bob, Bob was talking about, oh, let's talk about it, let's look at it. Bob was talking about yesterday in the comments having a diversified portfolio. 
So I was like, oh, you know, yeah, have different cryptos. He's like, no, no, no. I mean, have different stuff. He means, he said, yeah, I mean, diversified in all the best cryptos, one thing. Maybe maybe even some bets on some other cryptos. You know, we all have take a chance. But also in other currencies and metals. That's what I'm saying. He's own, believe me, he's got a chest of gold hidden in, <laughs> hidden in the Swiss Alps somewhere. And believe me, guys, you're around long enough. You'll understand what Bob's about. And so... Um, <laughs> and so, and so I told Bob back, yeah, I agree with you. I'm a Forex trader. I have Forex. Now I have crypto. And if this thing goes down, bang, uh, I'm going to get in stocks. I'm going to tell you, I'm buying this Coinbase stock. You're fucking right. Um, Coinbase, Gemini, oh, I'll tell you right now. Coinbase, Gemini, and backed. When they go IPO, I'm getting an E-Trade account, yeah, and I'm buying them off rip, off rip. I'm going to throw a couple grand in each of them, and uh, that, those ones, the, those those exchanges, and that, uh, look, Coinbase backed and, and Gemini, I know I'm rambling, guys, but believe me, man, this is good information. Coinbase backed in Gemini, they are going to be our Goldman Sachs, JP Morgans, and, and Citibanks 10 years from now in terms of crypto space. What Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and Citibank are to sort of the regular financial world, these guys, Coinbase backed in Gemini, I believe, I mean, how do I know? I'm not a fucking psychic, right? But just, so it's all speculation what I'm saying. Um, there's no evidence that that's gonna happen, but come on, man, you, you gotta be stupid enough to understand. Coinbase backed in Gemini, they're gonna be the Goldman Sachs the JP Morgans and the Citibanks of the cryptoverse 10 years from now. Watch, you'll see your holdings. If you buy these IPOs, you're going to be rich. All right, let's go on. So, so let me tell you, breaking news. Coinbase confirms going public with an $8 billion valuation provides revenue breakdown. All right. We're not going to get a whole breakdown and all that, but we are going to talk about the IPO. On October 26, Coinbase confirmed that the company is raising an initial public offering, IPO, of $500 million at a valuation of $8 billion. The news, which has been doing rounds for the past 24 hours, was finally confirmed. This is confirmed by Ran Nunir. Nunir. <laughs> all right. When he elucidated the financial breakdown of the IPO and provided more information on Coinbase's new move. So he broke it all down. The valuation is to be predicted in the range of $7.2 to $8 billion with an initial public investment of $550 million. The IPO will take... So this is for you guys. So listen, listen, guys, guys. I'm investing. I'm going to do this. I'm doing this. If so, and I'm going to keep you guys posted... I know it's a stock thing, but fuck, come on, dudes. I'm here to help you make money, man. And any way we can milk a cow, we're going to milk this cow. <laughs> we're going to milk it. So we're going to go. We're going to milk the stock cow a little bit here, brothers. Luck, luck, luck. The, listen to me. Don't be fooled by the drinking and smoking, okay? Listen to this very carefully. The IPO will take place in two rounds comprising of preferred equity and common stock. According to sources close to Coinbase, who are not part of the team right now, the IPO is predicted to beat all market predictions. You are fucking right it is. All these savages that want to come in and buy crypto, and now the leading crypto company is going to be in their world, an IPO? Just listen, guys. Um, as of now, okay, you all know this crap, so I'll read it fast. As of now, Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in terms of users, has 20, 25 million registered usable uh, users in its fold. There is seven million worth of cryptocurrencies. I think that's probably seven billion worth of cryptocurrencies with almost 600,000 active traders on the platform every single day. Sources have also stated that Coinbase is available in over 32 countries. And that's the shit, right? They, I didn't know it was 32. I remember they opened that shit over in Europe. And I remember England and here. I didn't know it was all that deep. So bang, the lion's share uh, with a lion's share of 75 of the total market of the total market. All right, but that's not our import. Next, the report talked about the revenue sources of coin. Okay, so this is how Coinbase makes its money, okay? So it stated that 
All right, let me slow down. It stated that 80% of the total Coinbase revenue was generated by consumers, us, retail investors. 15% was from Coinbase Pro, which is institutional investor aspect of Coinbase. Yeah, remember, they just opened their uh, custody services and you know they just got licensed for that. So the whales are just coming to them and that's why it's only 15%. Uh, the remaining 5% of the revenue has come from other miscellaneous sources. Other miscellaneous sources, state of the report. Uh, Ran Nooner. Nooner. I don't mean to be rude, buddy. Not that he's listening to this anyway. <laughs> A little shitty guy like me, but luck, luck, luck. Ran Nooner also teased users and investors by stating that Coinbase is rumored to start a custodian. We already know about the custodianship, so... And they're going to have custodianship. Custodianship! My bad. I didn't even announce that like that. Mm. All right. Now, this is the beauty. These guys are not thinking small. And that's how they have to think. You're, this is a new cryptocurrency market. You can be the JP Morgan. You can be the Citibank. You can be the Charles Schwab of this new thing. And that's what they're going for. <laughs> and like I told you, in Gemini and backed. Give me a break. What do you think they're going for? I mean, Coinbase are just a bunch of crypto nerds. <laughs> Gemini and backed. Oh, my gosh. They have real market guys in their company. I mean, Coinbase did take the COO, that lady of whatever, whatever. So they have real market people, too. But, I mean, come on. Not like Gemini and backed. Uh, we'll get into that all down the road. Anyway, we'll be making money high-fiving each other. All right. So, but Draper was of the opinion that Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong was going to make Coinbase the biggest company on the planet. Look, 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 look. I'm not going to bullshit you guys. Crypto, we are going to see in this crypto industry, we are going to see many, I'm going to say this, one trillion dollar companies. Yep, trillion fucking dollar companies. That's what we're going to see here, man. It, and I was talking to Bob about it. And actually, I'll read my thing that I told Bob. We were just talking about, I don't know, he was telling me about the debit cards and stuff. But we were talking about stuff. And I, what did I say to him? All right. All right. Okay. Forget about that part. Um, yeah, I did. We are going to see many trillion dollar companies out of this. Like I said yesterday, there's 23,000. Uh, sorry, 23,000. What the fuck? There's about 2,000 cryptos out there, right? When this is all over, there'll be about 50. If you're my age, remember, I'm 44 years old. I know I look young, but no, man, I'm 44. I was here for the dot-com bubble. I was a university student then. I didn't have money, so I didn't get to make any money out of it. My dad and them, they made money. But this is the same shit, the same thing. So if you're my age, just harken back to those days. And I remember all those fucking companies that were here. <laughs> we shrunk it down pretty tight, didn't we? The same thing is going to happen in this Coinbase thing. Uh, not Coinbase, crypto stuff. Is that each industry, you know, they're going to have their one, two, or three big boys that handle it. So right now in the shipping industry, right? You got VeChain, you got IOTA, right? They're handling shipping. Also, let's go VJ and I order the autonomous car thing, right? And so, and then, so moving money around the world, you got, uh, well, whatever, you got Ripple and Stellars, right? In the crypto space. When this all boils down in about five to 10 years, we're going to be left with the ones. And that's why we're going to have to portfolio juggle. We're going to be juggling. I've told you guys this before. I own probably every platform token there is except EOS. Uh, but I own them all. But yeah, I know that out of those platform tokens, probably only two are going to live. <laughs> Ethereum is going to live because it's a commodity, but my NEO, <laughs> oh, oh, what, what platform tokens do I have? I don't even remember all the names of these. NEO, uh, anyways, man, I don't remember the names of all of them right now, but I have a bunch of platform tokens. If you go back into the ultimate guide thing that I have, it's the, it's the one playlist I have on this channel. Yeah, I explain to you what I own and why I own it. And so you'll see, I'm a big lover of anything platformish. And But the truth is, I know that in the end, I'm probably only going to have one or two of those. All right, I'm probably going to maybe take a loss on a couple of them. 
maybe make a little, but then have to sell out. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. We'll see how it gets. But, all right. So, guys. Man, I'm babbling. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, all right. So, yeah. So, this guy says that Coinbase will be a major player, one of the biggest companies on the planet. Oh, yeah. I was telling you about the $2 trillion thing. Yeah, dudes. If you look at every every innovation in society, the next companies that come out on that new innovation, their market caps are way bigger than the last ones. So this is going to be historical, but let's get into it. In America, what helped mass, you know, build America were trains, right? Trains, the railway systems. So trains came out. But then once cars came out, the market caps were bigger than the train companies, okay? Um I mean, that's in for terms of transportation. Uh, then this thing called the Internet came out. I mean, I'm skipping a lot of stuff. but um, This thing called the Internet came out. Their market caps were bigger than the car guys. Then this thing called social media came out. Uh, Facebook. Oh, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. Hold on. Oh, yeah, all that tech stuff came out. And then social media came out. And those guys are bigger. I know, but Mac is bigger than those guys. I know for now. But... And then when blockchain, blockchain's the next one up. These market caps are going to be bigger than this. Down here, Mac is already a trillion. Th these companies are hundreds of billions. <laughs> if you're looking at, and this is what I want to show you. If you're looking at your hodlings, let's look at some hodlings, brothers. Ah, man, I'm babbling, man. I hope you guys stick around. I hope you learned something here. Look at these hodlings, okay? Seven billion. And like, so I'm going down a little bit because, like I told you, this Bitcoin, uh, they've already classified as commodity. That's, believe me, that's gonna go to trillions. Ethereum commodity trillions. XRPs, well, they're gonna have to get, uh, you know, they're gonna have to get major, uh, uh, what do you call the partnerships, or they're gonna go down. Bitcoin Cash also a commodity, right? All the rest of these are companies. All the rest, let's look. All of these are companies. These are just companies. They're not, uh, um, what do you call them? They're designated as commodities. And look at the tiny, shitty little market caps on them. Four billion, let's call that five. Four billion, four and a half, let's call that. Three billion, one billion, one billion, one billion, or two, two, two. That's fuck all. Do you see the growth? If you own Tron, let me tell you something. Tron is going to be hundreds of billions of dollars. So if you own Tron now, you're at least going to make a hundred times of what you own of it right now. I, I will say that. I don't do that prediction shit. Oh, your Bitcoin is going to be this much or you're this. That. I will tell you right the fuck now. Your Trons are going to be hundreds of times what they are. Your IOTAs, hundreds of times of what they are. Because they're actually doing stuff. Where are we at? V chain. V chain is only six hundred eleven million. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that's gonna be a hundred billion dollar company. <laughs> Easy. Do you see the partnerships they have? Easy. When these savage, when the institutional investors get here, oh my gosh, man, you know how much money you're gonna make owning V chain? I don't even know, but it's gonna be astro fucking nomical. All right. Why am I bringing this up? I don't even remember. Why are we talking about this? I don't know. You know, I just like to leave you guys going home, knowing you're gonna on a, on a weekend, knowing you're gonna make money. And I prove it to you. These are the numbers. This isn't Shamari talk. Six hundred eleven billion. That's it. Oh, oh my bad. Oh, oh million. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. The local grocery store I'm at probably is worth more. <laughs> when these savages get here, you are going to, you are going to be rich. And man, we already showed you the Justin Williams uh, thing. Remember, those are working product. We already showed you the Justin Williams thing. Justin, please, man, put that shit up on the comments one day, man, so I can get that URL. Actually, I know where to get it. You have it in the Discord. I'm going to get that and start showing people. This is nothing. $209 billion. There are hedge funds with more money than this. I know I've said it a million times, but for you new people, there are hedge funds with more money than that. There are guys, hedge fund managers, 
they lose or win more than nine billion a day, like a day. Smoy man, what the fuck? Yes, motherfuckers, that's how it works. You're in the big believes now, people. <laughs> Shit's real. Shit's real. <sighs> You're gonna be rich. Just fucking deal with it. <laughs> All right, let's get on to the next story because I want to let you guys go. Bang! Oh, and here we are, backed. See. And this was the back big money backed could obtain the Bitcoin futures regulatory approval as early as when next week. Oh, sons of bitches and guys, brothers, this is what I'm telling you. This is why this is why I preach it. I know. Fuck. You hate listening to this shit. You have to build your cryptocurrency warehouse now. You don't know when regulation will come. They're saying could. So remember, this is rumor. Let's look at this word. Wait, what the fuck was that? Could. What's going on here? Why can't I? What the fuck can't I highlight this? Anyway, anyway. Clock, clock, clock. Could obtain its. See what I'm saying? That's how fast shit happens. Right? We got Coinbase. If you've been here, right? If you've been here for a while, you remember. Brothers. I mean, I know you guys remember, but for you new people, look, look, look. On a Friday, I I reported that because. Uh, Coinbase was going to get custodianship. Well, Coinbase told us. They were like, yeah, we're applying for custodianship. Yeah, you know what the fuck happened? That next Monday, they're like, hey, guys, bang, we have it. You got to be quick. And that's why I'm saying you got to get that warehouse built now. Because you don't know, man. Just when the flood will have, I don't know. I say Q2, but I'm not going to bullshit you, man. No regrets. He's a fucking big time CEO, big time hedge fund guy, world famous. You know, he he eats with these people. He plays golf with these people. He's at the country club with these people. He says Q1. (laughs) I'm beginning to. I'm beginning to. Believe that because things are happening too fast. Anyways, I got to go because someone's coming to my house. The cryptocurrency industry is a buzz with excitement. They are a buzz. At the center of attention is backed. The cryptocurrency venture owned by New York Stock Exchange parent company ICE. That's what it's called. It is expected that this new platform will offer Bitcoin futures trading. If things go according to plan, the regulatory the regulatory approval could happen as early as guys, what the fuck is next week? Fuck, dudes. Right? <laughs> See how they sneak up on us like that? (laughs) That's how they sneak up on on us. They get regulated and do their stuff. The launch of uh, ISIS cryptocurrency venture can be a game changer. Backed, as this platform is called, bridges the gap between Bitcoin and what? What? This is what we need. This is what we need. New money. New money. I don't give a fuck about some new exchange that opens up and it's going to use Ripple and it's going to use Dash or it's going to use Monero or it's going to use whatever. Fuck, who cares? It's still just the same pile of retail investor money. It's not going to help anything. We need new money and especially, bang, 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 institutional money. One of its main products comes in the form of Bitcoin futures contracts. An interesting decision, especially when considering how other service providers struggle to uh, struggle for traction in this department. Um, all right, all right. We can skip some of this. Pending regulatory approval, these contracts will begin trading on December 12th. Uh, the waiting game associated with regulatory approval can take anywhere from weeks to months. Anyways, anyways, the whole point is it might happen next week. I've explained to you guys what a futures is and all that, so go back. Or, oh, or go to Investopedia. Google, what is a futures? Um, contract. Backed is entering a market which seemingly struggles for traction. Neither CBO, OE, uh, Chicago Board of Exchange, or the CME has any real success in this regard. Um, yeah, they're already uh, crypto futures, but they're not working very well. So let's see. The different approach. Oh, okay, that's right. And that's is how Backed is making a difference. Is how contracts are going to be paid out to the investors. When the futures, and this is what's good for us as the crypto investor, when the futures contracts expires, traders are paid in Bitcoin rather than cash. You are 
paid. Wait, 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 where we go. Why can't? Oh, this website's giving me all this manner trouble. It's just not letting me. Anyway, man, you're paid in Bitcoin rather than cash. So that means. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Price explosion because that's how you get paid. Unlike those other. Remember I told you about the other futures contracts where you get paid in cash? Yeah, so it doesn't really help the market. You've made a bet on Bitcoin, but you're actually paid in cash. Fiat. So that doesn't help us. We need these guys to buy physical Bitcoin. Uh, it is difficult to predict if the model will be more or less successful. So it's difficult to predict, but believe me, believe me. All right, so hold on. This Chicago-based trading provider is the first to offer exposure to this new products. Goldman Sachs is allegedly also keeping an eye on backed platform. This has not been officially confirmed by the institution at this stage. Now, I'll tell you about this part. Goldman Sachs, oh, now it's working, my highlighter. Goldman Sachs is looking at, at, at backed. So Goldman Sachs, uh, I'll tell you right now, Goldman Sachs, people said Goldman Sachs was going to use um, Bax's custody service, but they came out today and said, no, we are not going to use um, uh, Bax's custody service. But they said, we will, all right, all right, all right, let me calm down. Let me not lie. We might trade with them, though. They might use Bax as their trading portal for their uh, trading desk. <laughs> bang, bang, but fucking bang. Bang, thank you, Edwin, man. I'm not going to thank you enough for that, man. Showing me this shit about back, man. You opened my eyes to the, just, you know, a whole segment of the industry. Seriously, I love shit like that. You guys talk to me in the comments and teach me shit, man. I love it. Justin, slap me in the face with the V-chain shit. Now I've got a whole section of my warehouse to V-chain. I love it. Slap me. Give it to me. Teach me as I try to help you guys learn about infrastructure and stuff. So, bang, bang, guys. Let's get to shout outs and airdrops. I got people at my door. I got to bounce. Bang. What do we got? Oh, we got a bunch of people here. All right, let's start from the beginning then. Stuart Gardner. Bang. See you, brother. Crypto Master. Oh, oh C Sharp. Oh, and C Plus. Oh, and Java. This guy's object oriented programming all over the place. I see you, Crypto Master. Bang, brother. Yes, brother. Bang, bang. There's Edwin. There's the man who taught us about the backed bang, brother. Son of a bitch. <laughs> he knows who he is. <laughs> Ronquez. Oh, there's the master of airdrops. So look, 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 look. Yes, yes. Look, look, brothers. I know I say it every day, but there's new people every day. So look, look, look. Go to at Bob 844 Wait, sorry. Oh, yeah. 844 Bang. You're going to learn about airdrops. Bang. They're free coins. Yes, free coins. I know I say it every day. Bang, bang, read the top three tutorials, dive in. Bang, believe me. Other than me, that's probably going to be your best link. <laughs> you got to follow in life. Well, for now. Crypto tips. Bang, see you, brother. Sadika Afrin, Anandi. Click my link for free buy sells <laughs> alerts. <laughs> okay, see you, brother. Bang. What do you got? All right, talk to you. Bang, bang, there's the master. Who's this guy? Oh, his shit's popping up up there. Man, they're not letting your shit pop up, brother. I'm trying to see. Oh, I see your names down here, though. Islam, El Sharon, Benny. Bang, see you, brother. There's Edwin. Oh, oh, he actually talked about the MOU shit. <laughs> exactly, brother. You know, you know. You're the ones who showed me about V-Chain. Actually, it was Edwin and Justin. I heard them talk, and I was like, oh, fuck this. I got to get some V-Chain. And I'm happy I did, brothers. Bang, I thank you so much. I owe you some drinks when I see you 2020, December 31st. Bang. Harry Ripples. <laughs> Harry Ripples. What, what does this thing say? There's a reason XRP has a cult. Do your own research and ask, and you'll understand why. I'm only an asshole to assholes. No affiliation. <laughs> You're an interesting buddy. You're an interesting guy, cat buddy. Uh, well, since you're such a Ripple lover, when Ripple gets a major uh, Fortune 500 company partnered with them, tell me, okay? And I'll be back in. All right. Calais, bang, see you. Speco, bang, see you, brother. Because he was down here. He already talked. Bang, see you, brother. Exactly. All you fuck sticks. When, whenever Ripple gets Fortune 500 company, come tell me. Other than that, come on. Stop bottom feeding. <laughs> Yeah, man, hold on. Bang, bang, brother. Future net 
Crypto Ninja. What? I like that. I like your mask thingy, brother. See you, brother. Bang. Oh, and there's the Tron Master. Look, look, look. If there's any of you who love Tron or like Tron or want to know about Tron, go into the comments and talk to this guy. Just say, hey, DJ Pollywood, and then ask your Tron question. He will tell you everything, <laughs> every little tiny thing you need to know, brother. Look, believe me. And if you need a DJ, bang, bang, you'll get the party started. <laughs> Love you, Bollywood. Mwah. Go to Guild Chat, Pollywood and the crew are on there. Oh, and I'll be on there this weekend, brothers. For a little bit. I don't know. I love talking to you guys, but it's too addictive, man. Like, I got other shit to do. Like, I can't just be sitting around for fucking five hours. Getting airdrops, talking to boys. Donut. Bang, I saw you yesterday. What was that one? Christopher. J. Jore. Saw you. And Koozie saw you. Okay, we saw you guys yesterday. Uh, But yeah, yeah. But what did, what did, what did Paul Edwin say? He showed us, and that's the story I just showed you. Yeah, Edwin. Edwin, and so this guy, Edwin, look, guys, if you want to know stuff, talk to these guys. Edwin, Justin isn't here, but they'll show you, man. Like, they are techie, techie, nerd, nerd type guys. They know about, yo, you need this many coin to have a master node. Like, I hear them talk to each other. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, man, it's good shit. They know. Look, look, I'm just a... I'm just a regular investor, man. I'm not a techie techie nerd. These guys, they're tech tech, but also investing. So bang, bang. All right, brothers, I got to go. Someone's at my door. Look, look, brothers, let me get you back to your wives and your lives. And how we do that is when Shamari shills it and kills it. Bang, guys, thank you so much for coming out. Brothers, you know I love you guys. I'll see you guys 2020, December 31st. But we'll be chatting and uh, putting our work until then. <laughs> Gotta keep working, damn it. But till then, subscribe below, press the bell, get your automatic updates, and guys, I love you so much. My name is Shamar Clark. This is the favorite time of my day. I love helping you make money. I want to make money. Bang, I'm just a regular old guy making some cash, and I want to help you make some too. Bang, bang. And that's why my name is Shamari Clark. Well, that's not why my name is Shamari. It's because my mom named me Shamari. But bang, bang, that's why what? 